But first, Hurricane Dorian is slowing down but growing stronger this evening. It's now a Category 3 storm with the eye forming today. The winds are reaching 115 miles an hour. So by the time that it makes landfall, it could be a Category 4, and that's devastating. This morning, President Trump approved an emergency declaration for the entire state of Florida and the National Guard has already been activated there. Here in our state, 12 counties along the coast are now under a state of emergency, and that allows Georgia to move resources to impacted communities a whole lot faster. Meteorologist Samantha Moore is kicking off our team coverage with the latest storm models. And tell us about that projected path now, Sam. Yeah, that uh, cone, the forecast cone, of course, aimed at the east coast of Florida here. And you can see it has slowed down. Like you said, it's moving to the west northwest at nine miles per hour with those max sustained winds of 115. And really, that forecast cone covers the entire state of Florida. So uh, millions of people to be impacted here. And it will be strengthening on approach. There's not a lot in between where it is now and Florida itself. We have the Bahamas, which now has tropical storm uh, warnings as well as hurricane uh, watches in place here right now, uh, especially the northwestern portion of the Bahamas. That would include Grand Bahama. Uh, that means hurricane conditions are possible within the next 24 hours. And we're looking at uh, the storm tracks as far as the spaghetti models really coming together here, taking it to the west and then curving it to the north. So that would take it on that path right up the Space Coast, our coastline and into the Carolinas, not unlike Matthew, which was right around three years ago. So we're looking at a rain making storm. Flooding is going to be the main concern here, along, of course, with those uh, destructive winds. But we're talking up to 10 inches of rain here and a storm surge that could be deadly. And it's going to lash them for uh, probably around two to three days. Could be a little reminiscent of Harvey with all the rain there in Houston in terms of uh, maybe not that quite that much, but it's going to be a slow mover and that means more concerns with deadly flooding.